Alright, welcome back, Ritzkogan. I'm still not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Fun track, hard track. This was my first uh, track guide for the Ray. Uh, it is a redo. Um, yeah, lear learned a bit since then and uh, changed things up. This is, however, the original setup. Uh, if, if you've tried it, if you like it, if you want to give it a try, uh, it's it's not bad, but I could not get the same time I got in the past, so I don't know if there's been updates to the ray uh, or if there's been updates to the track. Uh, it just it did not seem to work as good as it used to. Either that or I got worse. I'm not sure. So anyway, uh, this is the original setup. Um, give it a try. I, I have set my best time with this setup, but I could not duplicate it, so uh, I, I did change things up. Um, so yeah, just uh, cars low, cambers turned up, springs are not so soft in the front. I find there's a lot of understeer with this setup, so um, I, I, I've changed it up. Uh, so in the, in the bottom half here, uh, there's the changes as well. Um, so it also is a standard gear stack. I think the iRacing setup is for a tall. Uh, standard is where it's at for me. So that is the original uh, uh, setup. So we'll go into the new setup. This is the new one. So car is lowered pretty low, not quite as low as it goes. Uh, you a lot of corner cutting, a lot of curbs going on here. So it's just up a little bit to give the car uh, just an easier time over the curbs. The curbs aren't too deadly here, but uh, this this does make it a little bit more compliant. Whoops. So, uh, damper compression in the front turned up a ton of uphill and downhill braking zones. So we got the the compression turned up, brakes 57% for me. For you, that could be a different number. Uh, I find it's not as easy to lock up here. Uh, so whatever you're comfortable with, it might be a little bit lower than your, your average um, uh, braking setup. Uh, spring rates, low as they go, front and back. And if you watch my channel, you know I fool around with the camber nowadays. I didn't back in the day. Uh, but yeah, um, a little flatter on the right-hand side, a little more cambered on the left-hand side. Toe-in is turned up. Um, that's just to get the turn into the car better. Uh, you need a pointy car for this track, definitely. Uh, and toes turned up in the rear as well. Um, so, let's get back to the bottom page here. Where the heck is the bottom page? There we are. So, um, again, uh, ride height um, just, just a little higher in the rear than the front to keep the rate good. And the ARB is 20. 20 is what you need to go fast. The car has to rotate on this track. There's tons of tight turns. Um, if you're really struggling, if you're really spinning the car a lot, uh, try 15 just to get your, your feet wet. But in order to go fast, you really do need to get this at 20. Uh, and damper compression in the rear is softened. It's down to a 4. Um, Again, lots of uh, uphill and downhill where you're hit getting on the gas and uh, lowering the compression here just gets the rear tires um, spinning less. You can still spin them, but uh, they're going to spin a little less. 13 liters should get you to the end. Uh, however, uh, you may, may want to have 14 just to be safe. And again, standard. Standard is the, the gear stack I'm going with. Um, yeah. Uh, you you don't you barely reach the rev limit in standard so tall is is a little crazy however if you're one of the faithful using a uh stick tall you might find a little a little more easier to get around the track with uh it's it's not going to make a huge difference but um standard if you're using paddles is definitely going to get you a little quicker all right, so let's get to track. Track is 19 degrees, so it's cooler than it was a year ago or more uh, when it was last time. Testing is 3%, so 3% is not great. I think that's why I did not set uh, 
the best time ever. Um, so yeah, uh, 126 five something is is the time. Not quite as good as my last one, but again, track was a little greasier here. So uh, we'll go through it in slow mo and then run it out at full speed. Uh, let's get into it. So coming up into turn one, looking for that 100 board, getting on the brakes about the 100 board, shifting down into second. Uh, you can go a little deeper in here, but you really want to cut this corner. Um, and if you go in here too deep, you're really going to lose a lot of time. You have to try and, and keep the speed up through this as much as possible. This track is got amazing slowdowns. If you cut any of these corners with the green uh, bit here, you are going to, oh, it is so punishing and there are so many of them. So always keep a tire on the track. <laughs> the slowdowns are just so painful here. And also note, uh, this is one of those tracks where cold tires is a huge difference. So your, your first half of the race, uh, or practice, uh, your times are going to be way off, and by the time you get to the last five uh, laps of your fuel, your time is going to be way down, so don't get too frustrated uh, as you're starting out. Time will be slow. Picking up the throttle as early as possible, keeping a tire over that line. Uh, this track does have a, a really defined rules set up so you may want to check that out just to see how much you can cut and where second gear i could have cut this corner a little bit more i would have liked to cut this corner a little bit more uh, but came in a little hot there getting the tire on the curb and and it's really important to hold a, a tight line through here going wide uh, just the, is does not work for me and just follow this curb this arrow is pointing if you, you want your car pointed in the direction of this while you're on full throttle and you will not run wide uh, if you run wide here if you're all four tires over that line I, it is certainly an X I think you might even get a slowdown as well I'm not 100% sure on that one uh, but again avoid these slowdowns so painful here <laughs> crash time uh, in the race watch out this is so crashy here so uh, looking for that hundred board just just getting a little lift um, if if it's cold tires you may want to dab the brakes and then shifting down into third about this 50 board uh, basically you want to make sure that um, you've slowed the car down enough so you don't blow the engine because uh, that could be an issue again a little bit more dab of brakes uh, just to make sure you're not coming in here too hot. If you run wide and go over this white line, it is a slowdown. A uh, very painful slowdown, or you'll spin out and crash. So uh, not a lot of good options there. Third gear, and then uh, basically at the base of the hill here, uh, there is a white uh, spill cleanup thing here. Uh, you can use that as a guide. Uh, shifting down into second, though, at the base of the hill here, uh, and then you're wanting to pick up the throttle. Um, running the car out pretty wide to the white line, um, that is uh, the, the quickest way you're going to pick up. You'll lose speed right now, right through here. Uh, you'll lose time. Um, if someone's on the inside, it, it, you'll lose time. So if you're, if you're battling, this is you may want to have a defensive line there. But if taking this wide wide line is going to get you more speed as soon as you get to about this curb your delta is going to start to go green uh, as you pick up the throttle a little quicker hugging this curb again keeping a tire on track and you don't want to get on the grass there too much it's really important though to get this car over to the right you do not want to have the car sliding wide uh, and using all the track over there because you need to get over to the right in order to get through this section fast and if you don't get through this section fast you lose a lot of time so over to the right second gear uh, you can see I'm already turning in so turning in just before uh, the curb here uh, basically you're wanting to keep that wheel straight and getting on the throttle as much as possible cool tires are gonna have to lift through here but once the tires are warm I did lift, uh, but try and pin it. It can be done. 
Uh, I think this is because the track is a little greasy. I couldn't. Um, again, can't cut this corner more than I did. Got to keep a tire on that white line. It's a, like a 1.7 second slowdown. It's ridiculous. Uh, so watch out for that second gear, just keeping on that throttle. And again, got to cut this corner as much as possible with avoiding that like 1.7 second slowdown. It is brutal. And again, just managing the throttle. It'll, it'll depend on track conditions. But lifting as you come into this one and then shifting down into first uh, once the car slow down a bit. You don't want to shift when the car is going too fast. Otherwise, your rear end is going to under rotate and you're going to spin. But cut this corner as much as possible down into first. And I don't like to run it out to the edge here. Uh, I find the grip is is gone out there. Uh, there's more grip keeping a tighter line. Um, so that is my preference. Mid-track, just letting the car roll in, managing the throttle. Again, you don't want to be pushing wide here. Otherwise, you are <clears throat> going to go out of bounds and uh, pick up an X and all that good stuff. Getting on the curb. Again, getting on these curbs helps rotate the car. Shifting up into second. And just like uh, turn one uh, or turn two, following basically using this uh, arrow as, as a guide to where you want to be because this is a blind exit. If you're pointed, if your car's pointed parallel with this, you're, you're going to be okay. Second gear and then working up into third. If you go over this white line here, it is, it is an X. I don't think it is a slowdown for this one. And then just, yeah, keeping the wheel as straight as possible, shifting up into third. So coming down here, looking for the end of the the uh, barrier here. Going to shift down into first. This is a pretty hard braking zone. You can brake late, but again, you're going to sacrifice exit speed. Um, so watch out for that. Down into first, and then picking up the throttle as early as possible, and then cutting in and getting onto these curbs again. Now this is one you have to really watch out for. There's actually a lot of spin outs and crashes in this corner. Um, as you come up onto this hill, easing on the throttle. If, if you stomp on it, uh, you are going to spin your back end. And you might spin out or you might just spin the tires and lose a lot of time. So watch out for that. That's why the compression is softened. If you keep that compression higher in the rear, uh, it's, it's a lot easier to spin up those tires. And then just you can use all the track out here again don't get on the grass don't cross that white line otherwise you are in trouble working up into second um you could get up into third here especially in a race if you're drafting off somebody uh watch out for that second is is uh a lot more comfortable for the timing and and such for me so looking for this worth sign on the right uh basically going to just give it a dab of brakes up top here um, if you brake later, the, the track is downhill now, and uh, that's that's going to unsettle the car as well. If you turn in too late here, it is downhill, and the back end is going to want to step out. So you want to have the car turn turned in and, and pointing in the right direction before that downhill really starts to come into play. And then picking up the throttle as early as possible. Again, rinse and repeat. Uh, keep one tire on the track there. I cut that about as much as you can. Otherwise, you get a huge slowdown. And use, you know, you got to keep it in bounds here, but you use a bit of the track on exit. Still in second gear. Again, I like to hold it in second gear. And you got to turn in here a lot earlier than you think at the sand, starting to turn in. Uh, if you turn in later, again, um, you're. The track is off camber. You're not going to cut the corner as good, and it's it's going to slow you down. And then just managing the throttle, cutting this corner as much as possible. Again, avoid that slowdown. And then sort of picking up the throttle here, heading towards the the signage. And then just a, a dab of brakes. You could use this white line as as a guide, um, braking at it or just a little bit before it. And again, wanting to get out to mid-track. Uh, again, I, uh, if I get way over to the left here, I find the grip is lost. Uh, you might 
you will pick up a little bit more speed in that straightaway by the end of the straightaway, but uh, you are going to gain a lot more time shortening this corner, um, and and I find it's a, it's a net gain if if you hold a tighter line here. So turning in, managing the throttle, um, basically at the end of these signs, you 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 want to have the car turned in and getting onto that uh, curb. I probably am here a little bit too wide. Should have been on the curb a little earlier. And then, yeah, full throttle. This this is another tricky long corner. Um, just managing the throttle here. You don't want to push too wide. Uh, you will get uh, slow, or uh, you may get a slowdown, but you'll certainly get an X. And you want to be on full throttle when uh, the stands are in sight. And if if you're doing that, you will not run wide, uh, assuming you are on those curbs. And then just opening up the wheel and getting, making use of all the track here, uh, just keeping the car inside the lines. So that's a 126.5. Um, definitely a little bit more time to be had out there, especially if the track's got a little bit more grip. Um, but if, if I think 126.5 is, is definitely going to be fairly competitive. Uh, so good luck out there. We'll see you next time. We'll run this out at full speed.